And the people who have been important to me, and especially in my adult years, it's clearly been my wife, Karen. And uh, we have been married for going on 52 years now. We've had a great life, we've had children, we've had a really a, a, just an excellent relationship the whole time. Never any doubts about that relationship, I'm sure. And what she has turned out to be is uh, really a rock in the, in the, in the soil. Uh, because Partly because she, she herself uh, lost her mother in a really serious situation where her mother, who was overweight, didn't have health insurance, were both from very modest means, her family especially, and she was diagnosed with rectal bleeding in the spring of when she was 51 years old. And the doctors told her there was nothing they could do for her except to give her a laxative. That was the spring she didn't tell her daughter, and Karen was the only daughter. So um, it was in December that year it came back, too far gone. And that's when she first learned about it. I'm just beginning my career. And so it was a difficult time for Karen and the family, and she finally passed away in three months' time. Uh, but the head of the doctor, this is a really important and interesting story because it had an impact on me too. This is in Washington, D.C. There's four hospitals in the, in the District of Columbia. And they had a system there where the chiefs of the hospitals, four of them, rotated every six months so that they could actually speak with a little more clarity and a little more independence. The head of the hospital at that time, at the funeral service, um, of her mother, he came and told me that um, he was really sorry to what had happened. And he showed me her papers that they had written up for her six months before. And I, I, I was floored. You know, he says, I'm so sorry. He said, you know, they, she didn't have insurance. They could get covered. Really, very fine man. And so I didn't quite know what to do with it. I, I mean, it was a very difficult time for the family. And I, he was, in fact, what I was hearing him say, I'll come and testify for you if you want to sue somebody. And it crossed my mind, but I knew that Karen had nothing to do with that because it's, she wanted to take advantage of the, you know, her mother's situation with that. And I'm not sure even today, looking back on it, she would have ever wanted to do that. But it told me something. Here was a medical system right then. I saw it was broken. And so I was, I was just in the lab then and sort of putting some things together too about my own program and diet and cancer. And I, I know she was in a coma for the last uh, month, I think it was or so. I spent a lot of time with Karen in the room and I started reading the text on, ch on cancer. <laughs> so I, I was motivated. I was really motivated. And I've got five grown children and seven grandchildren, another one on the way. And the oldest ones are now in college. They've done well in school. Uh, three of them almost have, they've never had a slight uh, bit of meat or milk in their life, going from birth on upwards. And they were told, and I was told, and my wife was told, oh, they've got to have some meat and stuff like this. They actually turned out, the three older ones, uh, all turned out to be athletes, and they were extraordinary athletes. One of them broke the all-time record, one of the first, uh, first team soccer, you know, all state kind of things. And I mean, they, they, they were just really, truly, physically they were great. In school, they were, they, I mean, I, I've seen kids grow up with this idea. And I'm thinking, oh, boy, boy they, they've got a great future. But then, I do have to stop and think from time to time about all these really, quite frankly, threatening stories. You know, about, for example, the degradation to the environment, for one thing, to the extent that some things might happen there. I'm wondering, what are they going to be living with? Or I think about the cost of health care. They're safe enough at the moment and covered, you know, as far as that's concerned. But look at the total system. It's broken. It's broken. And I wonder about their future. You know what? What are they going to? What are they going to have? I was just talking to one of our grandsons here just a week ago about that, and just sort of exploring with him what did he expect to see when he's about 60, 70 years old. 
I mean, he's still kind of naive and having his good time in his life and stuff like that. I don't think he's thinking too much about it, but I'm thinking about it. And I think that we got to get it right. We got, it just gives me more motivation. Because there's no way. I, I used to say when I was young, I think like a lot of people do, if I had a thought when I was young, and I said it to myself, I know I did. I was, I was very close to my father, I was the oldest son, and he was a great example for me. He only had a couple years education, but he left me with some values that I treasured. One was always tell the truth. That's what he said. And he was anxious for me to get an education. Nobody in my family ever even went to college, let alone having an education of the kind that I got. And so I carry his words, you know, forward and thinking uh, there's only one way to live, for crying out loud, is to tell the truth. And I had many opportunities to kind of sneak around that or not tell exactly like what I thought in my career. And I always did what, you know, he really put in my, in my head. You know, I had to tell the truth. I'm happy to be wrong. That's, that's not the problem. If I'm wrong in my interpretation, no problem there. In fact, I like to give my presentation to the audiences that are most opposed to what I might think, because you get from them some of the real, really important critique, I think. So I think going forward with our kids, and that's what I'm, we're trying to say to them, basically. Yeah, do your thing. Now I'm going to tell them the same thing which we have, my wife and I. Always tell the truth. Never anything less. And that means the whole truth and nothing but the truth. As best as they can, don't ever, ever, you know, leave that behind.